I'm Andy Parker, the barrel herder at Avery Brewing Company, and I'm here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So as far as when to take your beer out of barrels, um, we use a lot of sensory tricks on this, where number one, we have a crew of six people in special projects, and we're all tasting those barrels and kind of deciding like, oh man, we think this is ready to go. This tastes awesome, we should get it out. But a really important tool that people forget is blind taste tests. So it is not uncommon for us to bring a sample of beer that you know we're not sure about and bring it to, for example, our research and development meeting and put it in front of, let's say, eight trained tasters who have no idea what they're drinking and just get an absolutely blind opinion on, on what's going on. And there are some times where I've been very proud of a beer. I'm like, this tastes awesome. And I bring it up to a total blind taste test and I have eight people go, wow, this, I don't know what you brought us, Andy, but this is, this is pretty terrible. I'm like, all right, well, that's, that's very valuable information. Maybe we need to wait on that beer. Maybe it's a dumper, who knows? There have been other times where we have projects that are like, we're not sure if it's gonna work and I'll bring it up to a blind taste test and I'll have eight people say, this is, this is incredible. We need to get this out of barrels right now. If you'd like to know more about aging beer in barrels and how to drink it, click the link below.